All because you left a lug nut loose on a DC-10. No, that wasn't me. It was a faulty compressor disc. The airline was cutting corners. I kept warning them, but... It's still your word against theirs. My advice? Sign the form. Take the money. It's a generous offer. It's a gag order. If I sign that, it's professional suicide. Look, keep the check. It won't even cover my rent for a year. All I want is my job back. Mr. Walker, with all due respect, you'll never work for an airline again regardless. Now, do yourself a favor. Pick up the pen. You can stick your gag order and your pen right up your ass! Oh, so you do got a little fight left in you, huh? <gasps> Shit. <clears throat> Hello? Sorry. You're probably busy packing. I just picked Zoe up from swimming. We'll be home soon. Everything okay? Oh, uh... Yeah, yeah, I just... I just had the strangest dream. I was back in the lawyer's office. A dream? At this time of day? While I was packing, you know, like, dreaming about our, our new life in Missouri. As long as everything's boxed up and in good shape for the landlord. I know this move is a big step and tons of stress, but I've got a really good vibe about it, Vince. We'll be back by seven. I'm just gonna pick up Chinese. <sighs> Zoe! Sorry, gotta go. Sure, okay, but... <sighs> I can't believe I fell asleep. All right, big man. You got until seven to get this apartment ship shape and ready to go. Where do you want to start? Some dreams never get off the ground. You know what? We had chocolate pudding the day we moved in, so why not go out in style? Zoe won't eat this. Yeah, we're good. We're good. What's next? This is done. All right, on the home stretch now. Okay. If this is anything like the cold air unit on a flight deck, there should be. Well, this is obviously alien technology. Cool, ethereal, thermostat control. It's AC by Venus. Daddy! Hi, Pumpkin. How was your last day? Okay, I guess. Really gave me her address, but I'm gonna miss her. No, I hear you. It's a big change for everyone. We'll write to her as soon as we get to St. Louis. Okay, gotta help mommy now. Why don't you run upstairs and get your PJs on? Are you gonna put me to bed tonight? Sure thing, kiddo. <laughs> I know you worked hard today. 
so I got you your favorite. Mmm, hmm, shrimp. By the way, did the moving company call? Um, nope. Awesome. You took care of everything. Yeah, the couch tried to stop me with a five o'clock nap, but I got it done. Another bad night's sleep? Are you feeling any better? I'm fine. Just that dream I had about the... You know what, never mind. You remember what you told me when I got laid off from the tax office? Make sure you empty the stationary cupboard on your way out? <laughs> no. You told me that change only hurts when you try to stop it happening. And you were right. If I hadn't gotten laid off, I would never have finished my PhD application or gotten my job at the university. I get it. Focus on the positives. God, I'm starving. Zoe's already eaten, but I haven't had a chance all day. I'll get her ready for bed. Will you get noodled up? <laughs> Come on. Let's get your jammies on. So, how are you feeling about the move tomorrow? Looking forward to it. I dreamed that the movers took my my star lamp, and I was so scared because I never sleep in the dark. Hey, you know what? I had a bad dream recently about something I can't get off my mind, and I wish I could. Was it about the dark? No, but the thing about dreams is maybe sometimes they're trying to tell us something. Like what? We all have things that scare us, like the dark, and that's okay. I guess we just learn to live with it until maybe one day we won't be afraid anymore. So when I'm older, I might not even need my star lamp. <laughs> Try to sleep. <clears throat> okay. Love you all the way to the moon. Love you too. <laughs> Ugh, this moving company better show up tomorrow. How hard is it to send a confirmation message? Settled already? <laughs> well done. I'd better go kiss her goodnight before she drops off. Well, there you go. I bet that's them right now. Who's Bruce? Why did the lights go out? It's a power outage. You get them all the time here. No outage. It's the damn sheriff. Dale, keep a lookout. On it. I need to get the hell out of here. and keep her quiet. Okay, that's the desk. And make sure the Hair pen could be useful. Okay, now. Come on. I'll take care of you. You. A place like this gotta have a generator. There's one out back, but it doesn't work. <clears throat> Not getting out that way. Go do it. Hey! God, drop the stupid clip. <laughs> 